Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you guys how to replace a hard drive, a wireless card or network adapter, and RAM or memory in the Dell Latitude C610. This should also work for the C600, the C510, and I believe it should work for the C500. So, I'm going to show you how to do the hard drive first. This computer came with a 20 gig hard drive. That got broken. I got a 12 gig hard drive for it that sounds like a car when it's running. So I bought a 40 gig hard drive, new, which is right over here, and I'm going to show you guys how to install one of these. It's really easy. So first thing you're going to want to do is turn the computer over. Right now the batteries and CD drives are in the front, the fan port's in the back left, and then the VGA connector and power is in the top right just to get it oriented right on the table. Take a screwdriver, it's a regular flat head here. Move around the right, in the middle, you see that little door? That's where the hard drive is. There's one screw there. You just want to unscrew the screw. Once you get that out, put it in a safe place so you don't lose that. And then this cover over here, it lifts up a little bit and then it pulls right out. Your hard drive might be screwed into that. If it is, just pull it out and undo those two screws and you can put it onto your new one. And here's the hard drive. I have some tape on this so it's easy to pull out. Um, if there's not tape on it and you don't have a tab, you might have to get a screwdriver and pry it out or hit it lightly against a table to pull it out. But anyways, here's the hard drive. 12 gig, this one's really loud. So you see this adapter on the end? That's the hard drive adapter. And if you see from the new one on the left, 40 gig, 5400 RPM, the old one over here to the right, 12 gig, 4200 RPM, you need to take this adapter off and put it on the new one. Now you want to make sure to do this without bending any pins, because if you bend these pins, you could have a lot of problems. So be very careful. If you can, get a screwdriver in there. Um, be very careful when taking this off, because you definitely don't want to break one of these. You could get it by a new adapter online if that should break, but that shouldn't. Let me just get some force on it here. Once you get it a little bit in between the plastic adapter and the bottom of the hard drives, or the hard drive, then you can get a screwdriver in there and kind of twist a little bit on either side to pull it out. And there's that. Then come over to the new one, and you probably won't be able to see this here. But in the middle, instead of there being two rows of pins, in the middle there's one place where there's just one instead of two rows. On the adapter, it's the same way. So you want to make sure that it lines up right. If it's not going, don't force it and turn it around and see if that works. Oops, sorry about that phone. Once you get the adapter on, like so, you can screw it back into your adapter, or the uh, cover here, if you have a place to screw that in, which on this drive I actually do, but it's funny because it goes in the wrong way then, so I don't know why, but that just doesn't work right. But then, insert it in the computer and push it firmly in there and you're going to kind of hear it click into place and then you can put your cover back on. Depending on the hard drive you may need to reinstall Windows or whatever operating system you're using but there you go that's how to replace the hard drive. Now let's do the RAM. Again in the same position we had it last time there's this trap door here. There's a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. You want to undo all three of those. Note that the top two screws don't come out they stay attached to the plastic trap door. Those are screws labeled M for memory. Over here, this one is labeled M and K. M for memory and K for keyboard. This one does come out and it's actually pretty long. I'm going to put the camera down so I can unscrew that a little quicker. Take that up, set it aside for safekeeping. And then, with your fingernail or a screwdriver, you can get in here 
and pry that open. Comes right out, and in here is your mini PCI port for a wireless card or a modem, your Ethernet controller, BIOS chip, you don't want to mess with that, and then your two RAM DIMMs. By the way, I should have mentioned with the hard drive, this particular computer uses a 2.5 inch notebook hard drive, obviously. Uh, the interface is IDE or EIDE. The E and EIDE is just enhanced. It's a little bit better. The RAM is DDR RAM, not DDR2. Don't want to make that mistake. And it's about 100 megahertz. It's actually SD RAM. To take the RAM out, on either side here, there's little plastic clips. If you pull them away from the actual memory stick, memory stick pops up. Then pull it straight out very gently. You want to hold it by the sides so you don't break it. There's one. You can set that out and same one over here in the left, same way. To put it in, kind of put it in at a angle. Make sure there's a little notch in it there. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's a plastic notch here. Make sure the notches line up. Push it in and then very gently push it down until it clicks. For the network card, I happen to have a wireless card in here. There's these two black wires here. These are actually antennas that run up inside. I think they might actually go around the screen for your wireless. Same way, if you pull these, these are actually metal. If you pull the metal clips out, or I should probably take the an, and the antennas off. Antennas come off, by the way, by gently, you do not want to break these, by gently pulling it up off of the uh, parts there. If you have a modem in here, then you don't need to worry about the antennas. Once the antennas are off, then pull those clips aside. Might have to hold that and it should spring right up like the memory does. When it comes up, same procedure, just pull it out and here is your wireless networking card or your modem or whatever mini PCI device you want to put in here. When you put it in, there's a notch all the way over on one side. You want to make sure that notch lines up. Again, push it in at the angle, make sure the antennas are out of the way, and then push it down and you will hear it click. If it's a wireless card, you can go ahead and connect your antennas back up to the antenna ports. If you don't, I don't think it'll work. I never tried it without connecting it. Just they go put them right on top of where they go and then give it a push and they should go right back in. Want to make sure you get both of them and be gentle. So there's that. Then, one last thing here is, I believe this is the Ethernet controller. I'm not really familiar with this old hardware. But, if you should need to remove this, let's see. Sometimes there's going to be a screw there. This one doesn't happen to have that. Um, but it just pulls right out. If there's a screw here, unscrew it, and there might be one here too. Sorry, unscrew that, and then this is the power supply right in there. If you kind of pull that up, let's see if you can see that, pull it up like that, the power supply is there, and then you just wiggle that right out. And then here is this card. I'm not sure of the interface. Um, I don't don't work with this old hardware. But then you can see there's just something there to keep you from hitting the motherboard. It actually plugs in here and then you have a power jack there. Put it back in self-explanatory. I would recommend that you connect the power first just because it's a little easier to put it in once the power is installed. And then you can push it right back down in there and screw it in if you have a screw. So anyways, there's your RAM, your network card, and your Ethernet controller replacement and your hard drive on the Dell Latitude C610, C600, C510, and C500. This also might work on the C8 series. Most of the older Dell Latitudes are the same. Now that you have that done, you can screw down all of the screws that you loosened and enjoy your new hardware. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks again. Bye.